What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. And I actually have not done one of these videos in a very long time, but they are really fun to film. So I asked you guys to comment some questions on my Instagram page. And um, we are gonna pull some of those up now and answer some of your questions. Here we go, Daisy. Here we go, Daisy. Yeah, here we go. If you could be an animal besides a cat, what would it be? I know what it would be. It would be a kinkajou. How do you stop eating gum you see on the ground? Asking for a friend. I would say in order to stop eating gum on the ground, you should just step on it. So then it's stuck to your shoe and then hopefully that should stop you from wanting to eat it even more than you should have already stopped wanting to eat it when you saw it disposed on the ground. <laughs> How come you did not pursue basketball as a career? So I actually never wanted to play pro basketball even when I started playing basketball. What's the toughest thing you've experienced as being a vegan? You know, I eat a plant-based diet and I think my lifestyle is as vegan as I can get it to be. Um, I'm doing the best that I can of, you know, not buying leather, not buying anything made from animals. Um, like for example, like the interior of my car is vegan leather and that was something that was really important to me. But I think vegan as a lifestyle is much harder than just eating vegan foods or plant-based foods, if that makes sense. Why did you stop working with 2K? I know this is such like a, a, a lot of people have asked this question and I, you know, I really explained this um, the best I could in writing on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. But, um, you know, it was just that time for me. Everybody kind of evolves in their career and it was just that time. And it was a very, very, very hard decision for me. Probably one of the hardest I've ever had to make. Definitely the hardest decision I've had to make in my career. It was an, an amazing time in my life. And then it just happened to be the right time for me to continue on to what's next. I, I'm i going through a lot of transitions right now and I'm, I'm growing up a little bit. I'm in a bit of a transition period, but 2K TV is something that I'll always remember and always appreciate. And I don't know, maybe I'll make a cameo at some point, like in a, in a later season, because I would love to like see all my crew and coworkers again. So you never know. Why have you been making less videos? Um, this is something that I like kind of addressed to you guys earlier in the video, but um, I just, I needed time, guys. I'm like going through a transitional stage in my life and especially with like changing careers, like that's a lot for me. Would you ever be a sports game broadcaster? That is actually something that I'm not really interested in. Did you work out today? Yes, I actually did an Orange Theory class today. What's the funniest moment in your life? I feel like the funniest moments in general are times that I'm just like with my girlfriends and we're just laughing about something silly and I feel like it's always something that when we tell another person they don't think it's funny at all but like Liana and I will be sitting somewhere just uncontrollably laughing and crying over a joke somebody made or something that one of us did that was just like kind of ridiculous and or embarrassing and those moments are just like the funniest. And I feel like those end up being like inside jokes as well. Have you gone scuba diving? I've never gone scuba diving and I don't know if I ever will. That's kind of one thing that I'm scared of is the ocean. I think it's beautiful and I love it, but I kind of like staying above water. What can I do to get my cat to come out during the day instead of hiding behind my oven? There's a couple things that you can do. Basically, you just want your cat to feel comfortable and I don't know like your living situation. What I would suggest doing is maybe sitting next to the oven and just talking to her if you can't reach her to pet her. Um, and just do that for a little while and maybe she will eventually come out and want to hang out with you. Cats take some time and they they definitely need to feel secure in their space. So loud noises or a lot of people for some cats just isn't conducive to them. So like I said, I don't really know what's going on in your house, but I would start by just like sitting next to her wherever her hiding place is, talking to her, maybe giving her a treat here and there. Um, and then when she does come out of those in places, come out of those 
hiding places where she goes, then encourage that with, you know, love and attention and petting and playing and, you know, some treats here and there. So maybe start with that. What's the one thing you can't leave the house without? My phone and my chapstick. <laughs> what is your workout schedule? The workout classes I go to are Orange Theory and Flywheel, which Flywheel is like a cycling class and Orange Theory is a mix of rowing, running, and weightlifting. And then I also do some gymnastics training and then on my own I do um, body weight strength exercises. I will do some weights but I really don't like lifting heavy. I kind of like doing more like functional type movements and then other than that sometimes I'll just go on a run outside like on the trails or something but all of that stuff kind of goes in rotation and also depends on my travel schedule and kind of where I'm at in the world. But yeah. All right guys well there were so many questions that were commented so um I guess if you want a part two to this Q&A, then let me know in the comments below. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And before I go, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of new ideas that I had for my channel. I definitely want to do some more workout videos for you guys. I recently uploaded the 10 minute ab workout, but I want to do more of those because I honestly do love doing home workouts, and when I'm traveling or I'm in a hotel room, it's really helpful for me to have workouts that I can do really any place that don't need equipment um, and I have a bunch of like moves that I like to do so I would love to share those with you guys. Some other things I was maybe thinking about doing is, is story time videos. Um, I love watching those types of videos on YouTube and I was also thinking of doing some review videos and one of the things I was kind of thinking of like reviewing and or reacting to would be like TV and movies because I'm a total like binger when it comes to TV shows. So let me know if you guys would enjoy seeing any of those as well. One other thing that I'm like really contemplating but I'm not sure how good I would be at it is true crime videos. <laughs> I know that sounds like kind of funny and it's so like far-fetched from the stuff that I would normally do on this channel but I love watching true crime videos on YouTube. I don't know if this is something that you guys already watch on YouTube or you would even slightly be interested in, but I would like to know in the comments below. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I know a lot of you guys who follow me are like super into basketball and you probably came to this channel because of like NBA 2K TV or Overtime or me playing in the celebrity game or me doing a bunch of basketball things. Um, every video on this channel isn't going to be basketball, so I don't want to like get your hopes up with that. I will have some basketball content here and there, but I'm not necessarily thinking that I'm going to be doing like a ton of basketball content. I kind of want to keep this channel to some of my other interests and hobbies and things that I'm really passionate about. And this video is really long, so I'm going to go now. Bye!